back to the well. It's been a while. A while from the well. And we are very excited to be back. It's probably been four or five years, maybe. <gasps> Serious? Oh, it so old. Maybe three, year, four years. But <laughs> um, we have had a great break. <laughs> so we thought we'd better get back to you and give you some more information because we have learned a lot over the last Ooh. three or four years, haven't we? So I have from watching the well. <laughs> well done, Ham. <laughs> But we should probably mention about Ham being here. Hi. Yeah, he's uh, not BJ. He's not BJ. And we do still love BJ with all yes. our hearts. BJ in the life of our church is now one of our awesome campus pastors. Mm. And we thought it'd be great to give BJ some retirement of the <laughs> well because he's got other things to do. He's got but then, does. you know, Planet Boom music is a massive part of what we do now as well. Mm. And uh, so Ham is the man behind Planet Boom music. So we thought it'd be great to have Ham yeah. the man yeah. on. Uh, so greet the people. Hi, the, the people. Hello, all the people. It's great to have me. I'm excited to be part of this and I'm excited to share what I feel like is worth sharing. Yeah. And Ham is a very talented guy and... Uh, thanks. Yeah, you're a great guy. Talented. Great beard. Yeah, thanks heaps. Yes. You, you never really wanted to have a beard, did you? But no. You decided you'll have a beard and, it, and then it became iconic and you became an icon. And now I'm stuck with it. Forever. Oh, yes. yes. How does, does Tash, your wife, like your beard? She actually does, luckily. Okay. I yes. lucked into that. That's so good. that's really good. <laughs> Fantastic. Good honour. Wow. I hope this is really helping everyone. <laughs> That's what we want to do here at the well. <laughs> so, how did everyone go with the lockdowns all over our world? Like, how crazy was that? The last 12 months, 2020, were crazy. Mm. And so we just wanted to address corona and we want it to be Gona because we're <laughs> yes. tired of it. But, of course, it put a whole lot of strain, mm. stress, pressure, whatever it might um, be, on the church. People coming to church, couldn't come to church, couldn't sing, had to wear masks, all sorts of variables all around the world. But we thought maybe we would share with you what we did during corona because God was faithful. Mm -hmm. He was yeah. amazing. He gave us all these creative ideas. The church didn't stop being the church. Right. So let's share about that. And it might be interesting to educate everyone what it's like here in Melbourne right now. So like we did go through a lot of hardships in terms of lockdowns, mm. like real strict lockdowns. Some of the strictest in the world, I believe they say. Mm. Number one. We were number one. Like you literally could not yeah. leave the house except to go to the supermarket. Yeah. Um, and it was just really crazy. It mm. was crazy. And, so, and then when we eventually yeah, could... Curfews. When we could have people back to church, <laughs> five people in church. So that was literally not even enough to do a production, just five people in the band on stage and yeah. locking off all the cameras everywhere. Mm. So that was a challenge. Yeah, wow. uh, but right now in Melbourne, we are pretty much restriction free. Mm -hmm. We don't have to wear masks in church. We don't have to wear masks. You can meet, we can pretty much meet with as many people as we need yes. or want to. Mm. And it feels good to be back to normal. Yes, but it is so sure good. Does. And we have zero. Zero, Zero cases. cases, so we are so blessed. And I think that helps being on an island. We're very blessed to have an island as mm -hmm. a country because it's harder to get people in and out of. So yeah. it's true. But we do want to acknowledge that there is people in the world as well yes. struggling with this right now, and you are in our prayers, and we are just yeah. declaring um, Corona be going up. Yeah. <laughs> yes, in the name of Jesus. exactly. But we also want to give you some keys to help you through these lockdowns because God is powerful mm -hmm. and He continues to grow His church. Mm. So we don't want you to entertain any kind of mentality that um, God can't move powerfully because He did it in us. Mm -hmm. And I suppose mm. right from the beginning, we made a decision that we were going to continue to seek God, hear God, obey God and still be the church here in Melbourne. Yeah. And He just moved so powerfully. Yeah. And one of the ways that um, He moved powerfully is that God spoke to us, first of all, about our conference. Mm -hmm. Because we couldn't have, for the first time ever, Planet Shakers Conference. Yeah. That was so and crazy. It, in that moment in time, it was such an unknown. Like when we were entering in the realm of coronavirus, like what, what does this all mean for us? And so like, I remember two weeks out from conference, we were still kind of thinking and hoping that it was going to happen. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but then we started to see and read in all different parts of the world and eventually here in Australia, all these different events starting to shut down, concerts starting mm. to shut down. Mm. So we thought, well, if, if, they're, if they're stopping all these concerts and sporting events, that rules out our yeah. gathering conference. Yeah, well, I remember like a week out of uh, when we were supposed to have conference, I was calling up 
all these different youth saying, have you signed up for conference? And they're like, oh, I don't know if it's going to happen. And I'm mm -hmm. saying, no, it's definitely going to happen. <laughs> you have to sign up. <laughs> this is how I'm just convincing them. A lot of them signed up and we didn't have a conference. Which is crazy because we record our albums at conference. Yeah. So yeah. all these decisions like, well, what are we going to do? Yeah. And then, of course, Bastard Sam was the one who seeks the Lord and has the idea. So Oops. what idea did you come up with? A 24-hour conference yeah, let's online. A, let's just do a 24-hour <laughs> conference. Why not, right? Which was it was actually awesome. And it mm, took so it much was. planning. Like, we sat down and, and worked out. I think we did it in, like, six or eight-hour blocks of yeah. just all different footage. Yeah. And we had all these blocks of, you know, conference highlights from all over the years, powerful preaching mm. messages from all over the years, yeah. um, and some current things as well we put in there. And yeah. so it ran like four days straight. Yeah. So wherever you were around the world, you were able to tune in and, mm. and watch it live. So I think yeah, it's powerful. It was powerful. It was so amazing. Yeah, and was. then just to see how God will just use these things mm. to continue to bless people, heal people, encourage people. That was awesome. It, and it pushed us, don't you reckon, just to be creative in different ways we never would have thought. Like I remember yeah. in church, like when we, like I mentioned before, when we could start having more people involved, like we had five people on stage. We literally had five people in the band. Yes. But our church here has multiple, uh, like it's a big facility and there's yeah. different yes. parts of the building that don't count as the same facility. So we were yeah. able to have people out in the media room because that's disconnected from the, the auditorium. Yeah. And then we're like, but, you know, dancers are such a big part of our praise as yeah. well. Mm. But we can't have dancers on stage. So then no. we thought, well, if we create these like two metre high, like a door size LED panel, mm. and we stream them in from their bedroom their or garage, wherever yes. they are at home, <laughs> dancing on it. So that's what we did. We it had like so five brilliant. or six yeah. dancers. Yeah. Fun. And so from, from a wide shot, like on stage, it looked like the stage was still full and all the yeah. energy. Yeah. Heaps of oh, absolutely. It's such a brilliant idea. And it then awesome. tell, why don't you explain about Pierce Nightlife? Well, oh my goodness. Um, we wanted to reach our church. Of course, everyone's locked down in their homes and so the church is spread out everywhere. And so, you know, we would normally have urban life. That's what we call it, our midweek meetings in different homes and church, of course, and boom on a um, Friday night and a Sunday church where Planet Kids would run. You know, we have all these meetings, but we're not allowed to meet together. So... We came up with this brilliant idea called PS Night Life, where it's almost like we had a little variety kind of show. It's like a TV show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that we produced for our church because mm. we didn't want to lose connection because mm. church is about community and connection and loving each other and supporting each other through life. So we came up with this idea, and so a number of us were part of this uh, particular program. Um, so we had music. Yeah. But then we had a DJ. Mm. We had and you DJed from home. We had a yeah. DJ. Like, yeah. It was, it was crazy, the whole technology. I was streaming you in from home yeah. on a DJ to here in church. That was so funny. It didn't start with me DJing from home. So I was DJing kind of off the side, doing sound effects in, mm, in real yes. time, following along with everybody. And then the crazy lockdown happened where we couldn't go out for more than an hour a day. And it was just hectic. So I was forced to DJ from home. But with the technology, it was incredible being able to do what I could do, but there was a slight lag. Yeah. So I'd trigger a laugh sound at a funny joke, but they'd already moved on by that point. And I was like, ah! And it was just... It, was, it, it is so crazy. Like, it pushed us to, yeah, come up with all these creative solutions and stuff that we never would have thought of before. Yeah. And, like, we, we ended up doing it four nights a week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And yeah. then and the program went for two and a half hours. We did, yeah. it, we did a half an hour for uh, youth. Planet Kids. Planet Kids, half an hour for youth, yeah. and then an usually an hour and a bit more for... Mm for everyone else yeah. and like that's a lot of content so we it were was. it was basically like a newsroom you know tv show producing live every single day and it really forced and pushed our team to to, totally. to be quick at what yeah. we did our totally. whole ca camera operators they were just <laughs> running around because all the camera shots were fixed and that yeah. they, they'd run out the back to the meeting room another. and then yeah. run back in and adjust the focus or whatever <laughs> they got a lot of work out during those times but um some amazing things happened so like you, what was that um, segment that you did where, you know, you would just create this song from Pastor Nothing. Andy? Oh, yeah. yeah, he would just right. sing this yeah, random Yeah, song. tunes we call yes. it. <laughs> where Aunt, Pastor Rudy gave Andy a topic and a style, or just a topic actually, and he had to come up with a song about the topic, and then yeah. I had to produce the song in a style, and some crazy stuff came out. Some crazy fun I'm sure stuff. if you search on... YouTube, you'll find them somewhere. Yes. But you know sure. what? We all learn heaps and yeah. life gives you lemonades, lemons, you make <laughs> yeah, lemonades. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we did here at Blunt yeah. We made some fine tasting lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> it 
was powerful. But you know what was awesome too was that our team of pastors and staff here at Planet Shakers did not let Corona get them mm. down. Everyone just clicked into gear and um, just serve the people from behind a camera. And we have so many testimonies of people's lives being changed because the church kept being the church. And that's what I suppose I want to encourage everyone watching. Don't let circumstances stop you being who God's called you to be mm. or the church being yeah. the church. Find a way to continue to preach the gospel, lead people to in, into encounters with God, praise Him, get around the Word, have um, response time, get people saved. Whatever the restrictions are, God is not restricted by these circumstances. So He'll give you a creative idea or He'll give you a key to really help people through difficulties. Mm. Amen. So here at Plan Shakers, we always like to write songs for now, for what yeah. we're going through yeah. right now. Okay. And so when this whole, um, you know, coronavirus thing came out in the world, well, naturally we want a, a worship song to declare how good God is amongst yeah. that season or how yeah. powerful he is over that season. And so that statement came to me over it all. Mm -hmm. And then you helped me write the rest of it and you just played bass on it. Sure you did. did a good job at it. <laughs> and, um, so this is a powerful song in the life of our church and we just want to talk about it as, yeah. as feature this song today uh, because this was a song that was a great declaration through our season here at Planet Shakers during COVID, but then yeah. it also became the title of the album as well yeah. because we just felt that was a great declaration, a powerful declaration. Exactly. It was um, a readjustment of focus, you know, because people are facing circumstances that would say Jesus isn't over at all. Mm. But we also wanted to put those words in people's mouths and um, allow that melody to get into their heads mm. where they started to sing, meditate on this, that Jesus is over it all. And mm. as we sang that song, as we recorded it, as we would sing it each week yeah. at church online, um, we really believed as we were singing, this song was going to have a, a positive effect upon our circumstances to see Jesus turn things around. Mm. And I remember in our church as well, we started to target in prayer the amount of corona cases. Mm. And I remember the Lord talking to me about, um, don't just target in prayer the government changing their mind. Mm. Target the amount of people being healed of corona and therefore bringing the numbers down to zero. Mm. So that's what we went after. Yeah. We sang this song, we prayed and we declared and we watched God do a miracle in our city because yeah. Melbourne was the worst lockdown and we saw the numbers just start to drop dramatically and then day after day it went zero, zero, mm, zero, yeah. zero. And we saw Jesus be over it all and yeah. Jesus turn around situations. It was amazing. Mm. It sure was. It sure was. <laughs> <laughs> but another great thing. Um, <laughs> oh, that's it. <laughs> another great thing relating to this song is, no, I want to talk to everyone about multi-tracks because multi-tracks mm. is a big part of what we do. Um, like we, we play along with tracks live at church and the tracks are great because they, they give you the ability to have a certain sound that you couldn't normally replicate with an instrument, you know. Um, we'd probably need like 30 people on stage to do it if we didn't have the yeah. tracks. So, and the awesome thing about the tracks is that you guys can play it along with them at your church too. Yeah. It doesn't matter how many people in your band, even if you just got a drummer and a keyboard player, yeah. you can use the multi-tracks, get the bass stem, get the, all the other loops and stuff like that mm. yeah. and create that really full sound. Yeah, and it's so, a great support really, isn't it? It's amazing support. Yeah. And so like I'm going to show you in a second all the, the multi-tracks for this song and show you what you can uh, explore. But Ham... Explain to everybody how we run multi-tracks at church and laptop and stuff. Yeah, so I um, am in charge of the tracks on the stage. We have a laptop with Ableton running on it and I've um, set it up so that each uh, different track in Ableton is a different multi-track stem. So we have a click track, we have a stereo track track, which is just all the production and all the little bits that we can't play as you know, the guys that are on stage. We have an MD track as well. Um, and then we have BV tracks that can help just thicken out the live BVs yep. um, and puts a little bit less pressure on the lead vocals to 
yeah. always be singing. They can be doing what God wants them mm. to do. We have acoustic tracks as well for the same reason. And then we have time code track, which gets sent to the front of house lighting desk and the media guys, and that triggers all this media content as well, mm. which is which yeah. is probably one of the most Amazing. important unheard tracks ever, <laughs> sure ever played. Yes, totally. <laughs> because without it, things. Uh, don't happen. Yes, but what's awesome about multi-tracks too is it helps the online experience. Yeah. So maybe right now you have an online experience for church. These are these things that can really help build a great atmosphere online. In yes. someone's home, mm. they are listening to all of these amazing sounds as you worship God. It really is amazing. I think it's amazing. Amazing. Yeah. So check out this video now. Uh, I'm going to take you through the different stems and uh, show you a bit about it. So guys, I'm going to take you through uh, the multi-tracks or stems for Over It All. And so if you don't know what multi-tracks are, they're like all the individual tracks from the album. So you've got a drum stem, you've got a bass stem, you've got guitar stems and different sound effects and vocals. And these can be really helpful to use, especially in your team if you don't have uh, like a guitar two player, you can use the guitar two stem. If you don't have a bass player, you can use the bass stem. So they can really help open up opportunities for you and your sound in your team. And of course, some of these tracks just have that, those iconic hook to the sound of the song. And so you can literally have that in your own church and environment too. But I'll play you some of them. So this is what the song over it all sounds like. So if you want to hear the drums, this is what they sound like. And maybe the guitar. So this is what guitar one sounds like. So maybe you have no guitar, so you could use a stem like this. Or if you wanted to just have guitar two playing. This is what guitar, guitar two sounds like. Now another awesome thing about using these these multi-tracks is like in a, in a lot of the album songs, I love to put like different ambient sounds and atmosphere sounds. And so like you get these in, in the tracks too, which sound like this. So just having those kind of sounds underneath the song is really nice too. Um, you get BVs, which is what the BV sound like. Over it all, the highest authority. Let's go to a chorus. Well, my defender, my savior for you can hear Chelsea there. Time, you these are the loops. So these loops probably are some of the biggest parts of the sound because they bring so much energy and, and fullness to the song. Even the piano, like having a piano track is awesome so you can hear the exact voicings of what we're doing. So if your piano player wants to get the exact sound of what is on the album, he can listen to this. There's a synth bass here. We have uh, a lead synth. Which is doing some cool ambient stuff. But the great thing is they're all, as you can see on the screen, they're all individual tracks that you can chop and change. So you, you might just decide to use, you know, some pads and guitar too, or, and the loops. Or like I said, if you're in a band that doesn't have certain positions, you can just add it in and play it through multi-tracks or whatever platform you use. So I would encourage you guys to check it out. Multitracks.com is where you can buy every single multi-track that we've ever released generally. Um, and it's a lot of fun to, to mess around with and just to see how it can enhance the worship time that you have in your church. So it's that time for question and answers. Yeah. And if you have been following us on Planet Shakers, um, you know, we've been putting some social media things out there saying if you have any questions, write them in. And so you guys have been amazing. We have got so many questions already <laughs> that we aren't going to get through all today, but we will, we're going to do some speedy answers so we can okay. get through as Give many it a as crack. we can. Are you ready? Yes. I'm ready. Pam, I'm ready. this one's for you. From Jeremiah Justin. Hi, Jeremiah. What is the history of Planet Shakers? Oh, wow. the history of Planet Shakers. In 10 seconds. In 10 seconds. Uh, Pastor Russell was in a meeting and God <laughs> said to him, start a conference called Planet Shakers. He said, what's that? And God said, you'll see. And out of that, Pastor Russell started this conference in Adelaide that then grew to be a whole Australia-wide thing that had Seven, thousands and thousands of people. Eight, and then we started a church nine, and then we started recording ten. music and it was incredible. Hey, you did well. <laughs> Second question is for... Ham again. Hey. From Matthew Gisborne. Hi, Matthew. Gibson, my bad. Uh, 
what are some base practice routines? Oh, do your scales, do your arpeggios. If you're not sure what they are, jump on YouTube. There's heaps of great material for you to learn anything from beginners to advanced. But one of the great things to do is to transcribe. So find a song that you like and figure out how to play it by ear, and that'll improve your playing as well as your listening, especially praise and worship songs for this Sunday. Make sure you learn them. All right, yes. good job. This one can be for Pastor Sam. Okay. Um, even though the third question was for you too, but oh. you can't have all the glory, mate. Uh, <laughs> Pastor Sam, this one is from Micah Kirby. What type of in ears do you use? Oh, what do I use? <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to give you an answer here, but <laughs> Ultimate Ears yeah, UE18s you. is the model. So that's that's her answer. I get the next answer. Um, <laughs> I didn't even know. <laughs> this is another one from T1NE620. Hi, Should- TNE. Should the bassist and the drummer have the same in-ears mix? No. Oh. No, no I don't think so. sir. The drums needs a click really, really, really loud, and the bass needs to be able to hear the drums so that the bass can lock in with the drums that's locked in with the click. Yes. It's a good point. You, you don't want the bass yes. to lock into the click if the drum is a bit out of time, then you get true. messiness. The drummer really is the person who should be locking in the click, and everyone else locks in with the drums. That's a good Amen. point. Next question is from Mackie. This is their social media handles. They haven't written their name, so. Hi, Mackie. Mackie hey, Pode hey. Seventeen. How does Hi. it pass the for you? How does it feel to be on stage in, in front of such a large crowd? Ooh. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I don't know. I don't. I don't actually feel the enormity of a crowd. Mm. I'm there to worship Jesus. That's yeah. It. I mean, earlier on in the days, I remember feeling nervous, like getting up, in, you know, when we used to go on tour when I was starting out, when you get in front of 10,000 people, it's like, whoa, this is crazy. But then when you, when you realise that we're all here mm-hmm. to worship together, yeah. like the nerves fly away and you just have a great time. It's true. You yeah, I used to get nervous right up until I played the first note and then I was like, oh, this is for Jesus. Yeah. yeah. It's fun. It's Pastor Sam, this one going to be for you from Ruby Sastry. What Ruby. is the infilling of the Holy Spirit? Wow. Well, that's quite a complicated response. However... I'll just minimise it by saying it's when the Holy Spirit's power comes and fills you and I don't know what else to say. Uh, Acts 2. His his strength, his joy, Mm. his enablement comes and fills your very being and one, you feel great, but then you're able to do things that um, you never thought possible and you're able to fulfill your calling. And so really it's a spiritual encounter. See, I could just go on and on. So you can. anyway. All right. Good, good answer. <laughs> this, and we just had uh, Pentecost Sunday last Sunday. So, yes. And it was great. Um, Maybe they should just watch us on YouTube and yeah. then that will help you. True. Watch church service on YouTube. We have one from Dan's underscore 10 and... Shivam underscore JC316 and hope is for us. Three people obviously asking the same kind of question. How do you write songs? Advice for new upcoming songwriters. Mm, Songwriting is like anything. Practice, practice, practice. (laughs) It's true. Just keep practicing. Like it, it's not a mystical art. It's if you do it, the more you do it, the better you get. And sometimes I've always liked to view it like you know, this song might not be the number one hit. But you just need to write it to get to the next song. That's true. And you learn different things through writing that song, trial and error, how to put words together, how to put melodies together. And it's, again, it might not be perfect, but it gets you to the next song. And you just got to keep thinking it like that ladder. You just keep climbing that ladder of writing great songs. Yeah, and totally. using other songs to help you as well. That's a good little... <laughs> That's true. What do you mean, like yeah. copy other songs? Oh, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no. Control C. Control B. No. You need a verse. You need a chorus. You need a bridge. That's true. That's true. All right. Last, <clears throat> last one here. Ready? Ready. From <coughs> Samuel Music. Hi, Samuel. How do you do voice division uh, and how do you oh, no, lead sorry. a worship team? Voice division. What does that mean? We don't believe in division. We believe in unity. So <laughs> <we're> very... Amen. <laughs> <laughs> voice division. Does that mean who's going to um, be the melody and who's going to be the harmony? Potentially. Kind of thing? Potentially that's what he means. How do you do that? Yeah. Uh, how? Well, some, some, peop- some singers on our team... <laughs> find it more natural to sing harmonies than others and some struggle really have to think hard to so we naturally choose those people to sing the harmonies if they've got a high voice they sing the high harmony the low voice they sing the low yeah high and low and um how do you lead a worship team um that's a really big question too maybe we'll have an episode on that yep but if you've got any more questions write them into the well at planetshakers.com or you can write it on one of the instagram posts and we'll do our best to copy that across to these many sheets, but we've got lots of questions, so we're going to just do some speed answering 
and uh, it'll be great. Thanks for joining us here at The Well, our first Back for Ages. We have loved being with you and we look forward to seeing you again really soon. But you can also join us on a Sunday, couldn't they? They could. They could talk, join us at, on YouTube yeah, and come and worship with us at yeah. Planet Shakers on a Sunday. We'd love that. Yep, Planet Other Shakers TV is the YouTube account. Mm. Yeah. Um, and follow us on social media. Out? We, we recorded our album in April conference, so that's going to be coming out in a few months' time. We've so just had the Boom album. Oh, coming. get the Boom yes. album, please. Hurry yeah. up. JC Squad. Which that was a, that's a fun album. Amazing. It's very fun. But um, until next time, have a great week, and we'd love to hear from you soon.